Hello? <laughs> Is it me you're looking for? Yes. I can see it in your eyes. <laughs> I really can. <laughs> I pull. That was lying over your cheek. <laughs> You've all seen that video clip, right? Anyone? Shout out if you have. Yes? yes? Good. Good. Very good. You see, it's a beautiful love story about Lionel Richie falling in love with a blind chick. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Warms the cockles. It does. But what if I told you that A. She's a student. B. He's a teacher. And C. It's set in a high school. <laughs> The director obviously said to Lionel, go to your inner place and draw out your creepy stalker. Because <laughs> he's there, sort of tearing through creek doors, <laughs> leaning around corners, <laughs> climbing over walls. <laughs> The more you look into Lionel Richie, the more inappropriate it gets, I swear to God. <laughs> while I'm talking on inappropriate, while I was walking up here, I cast a glance over the audience. I can honestly say I've never had as many inappropriate thoughts about one room full of people at once. <laughs> it's kind of tough to deal with because I'm related to some of the people here too. <laughs> really not looking forward to the next family dinner. <laughs> or am I? <laughs> I think I saw someone nod then, that's just, that's just disturbing. So, moving on from family and inappropriateness, because you know, where else is there to go from there, right? My brain just goes to those places, I can't help it, it just boom, and it's there. Just the other day I was thinking about how awesome it would be to have pants made entirely out of pancakes. <laughs> Pants cakes. Yeah. And right now, I'm imagining you, sir, wearing pants cakes. Mm. I gotta be honest with you, I just wanna hop down off the stage and just go to town on those things. I just rub my face and... I know you're thinking it's a bit much. I just got up here 90 seconds ago. You don't know me, I don't know you. But it's okay. Shh. 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 Just come because my left nipple squirts maple syrup. <laughs> now you're on board. Now you're all over. My right nipple, it does nothing. I don't, I don't know. It's lazy. I've heard that if you look straight at it, it looks like it's winking at you. I don't really know what to make of that. Lazy. Essentially, Matt Damon, Ben Affleck. There you go. It's just... <laughs> So, that's what I love about the English language, you know, because now everyone is thinking about my moods, right? <laughs> Slap words together, make fun out of them. Everyone gets it. But there's a big difference between people that know the English language and people that don't. So if I was to describe myself as her suit, right? <laughs> Maybe 20, 25% of the audience knows that. I don't know. You know, I could, could I could just talk to my you know talk myself up as friskily her suit. It's fancy pants for herring, in case you were wondering. <laughs> Which is part of the reason why I don't like swimming. Never really seen eye to eye on swimming. Last time I went to the beach, beautiful day, sun's out, sand feels nice in between my toes, waves are crashing. Oh, if I could go back there now. <laughs> So I decide to hop into the water, take my shirt off, start walking towards the water, and I feel a small prick in my neck. And when I say a small prick, I don't mean there was like some beach nymph hiding out behind a bush <laughs> waiting for me. Kind of like Yoda's hung out on the beach for maybe 300 years. Yeah? Nice and tanned and all wrinkly. Comes running up, jumps up, <laughs> my neck height, stabs me in the neck with his tiny little dick. No, that is not what I meant. What I meant was the next thing I remember, I wake up, butt naked in a forest, with a tracking chip in my wrist. 
That's me. You guys have been great. Thank you so much. Here we go.